Welcome to Lambda World News, the show where we bring you the latest updates and some of the most interesting ideas from the functional programming community. Now let's take a brief look at what's making headlines this week. The Rust team recently announced the release of Rust version 1.53.0. This latest version features several new language features, as well as some new library features too. If you want to check out all the new features in version 1.53.0, head over to the Rust blog to find out more. There's a new beta version of Setup OCaml. This is a GitHub action for the OCaml programming language. The 2.0 beta release allows you to add multiple custom repositories, and the hope is that this will be the last one before the stable 2.0 release. Check out the OCaml Discourse community if you're interested in learning more. There's a new addition to the Kotlin multi-platform mobile ecosystem. On June 22nd, the JetBrains team announced the Kotlin multi-platform mobile plugin for AppCode. AppCode is an integrated development environment for Swift, Objective-C, C, and C++ development built on JetBrains' IntelliJ IDEA platform. As JetBrains explains, the goal with this new KMM plugin for AppCode is to maintain the project structure in one place and unify the layout of iOS and Android parts while preserving all the flexibility that Kotlin Multi-Platform Mobile provides. If you're interested in learning more about the new KMM plugin for AppCode, read about it in the JetBrains blog. Kotlin 1.5.20 was just released. This latest release adds standard library improvements, Kotlin JVM improvements, and much more. The Kotlin blog explains, quote, Kotlin continues to stay up to date with latest Java features such as dynamic invocations and to provide better interoperability with Java by adding support for Java's Lombok and JSpecify. We are also continuing our work of making the standard library consistent across platforms, as well as investing in Gradle tooling and the new JSIR backend." End quote. Head over to the Kotlin blog to check out a full overview as well as a video explaining everything new in Kotlin 1.5.20. Now, let's quickly spotlight a few recent books that might interest you. Jetpack Compose by Tutorials by the RayWenderlich.com tutorial team shows you how Compose works, what its fundamental components are, and how you can use them to build complex real-world Android apps. This book is available now on Amazon. The third edition of Swift Programming, the ultimate beginner's guide to learn Swift programming step-by-step -step by Alexander Aronowitz is, as the name suggests, for developers looking to dive into the basics of the Swift language. The book helps you understand core components of Swift and guide you step-by-step -step through building a basic app. This book is also available on Amazon. And let's finish the news today by highlighting some upcoming conferences. Scale by the Bay, a developer community conference, takes place this October 28th through the 29th. This year's conference will still be virtual and you can find out more about it at scale.bythebay.io. ScalaCon returns this fall running virtually from November 2nd to the 5th. Ticket purchase also gets you access to all the video presentations from the May event. You can find out more at scalacon.org and follow at ScalaCon on Twitter for updates as they become available. Thanks for joining us today for Lambda World News. If you have a news item, a book, or an upcoming event or conference you'd like us to mention on a future episode, send the info to us at lambda.world at 47deg.com.